What's up? What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video tour. Today, we're going to tour a high rise and a penthouse suite to be exact. Today, we're here at Turnberry Towers. One of the towers is right behind me. I'll show you that's see if I can get it to move fast with me. <laughs> there's the second tower and there's the third tower. So let's go ahead, head on in, check in with the front desk, get our keys and go up to level 22. But check out this really cute little area that you can hang out in if you're a member. Let's go see inside. So as soon as we get off of the elevators, you have your own floor, level 22. Let's head on in. Now I love this property because it gives you such an old style feel. I mean, everything in here is just grand and luxurious and just over the top. I mean, just the decor. I love it. <laughs> so as we just came in through that front door, that little hallway, you'll see to the right hand side is the kitchen. But I brought us into the main living room area first because I wanted you to see exactly what I'm talking about when I say grand and luxurious. Everything in here is just beautiful. I mean, even the crown molding and then you have the set in lights as well above. I mean, I just I love it. You got surround sound speakers too all throughout. And then I mean, check out that view. It's gorgeous. You have a built-in bar. Talk about an awesome entertainment area. Lots of space too for alcohol, glasses, silverware, anything <laughs> you would use it for. I love the fireplace. Oh, with the old iron fencing around it, protecting. Oh, it's just beautiful. Even have the old curtain style drapes. I love it. Might not even be my style, but just the property itself. I just love the feel. So let's head on to the best part about it back patio area. I'll walk you all the way. And you have a double sided. So as in the family room, living room, dining room area we'll go into next also has a slider as well. So you have access on both sides. Lots of privacy, obviously no one's going to be seeing you on this rooftop in front of us. And we're right in the middle of the strip. If you are not familiar with Turnberry Towers, we're pretty much dead center. So you can see that the Wynn and Encore are right in front of us. You have the brand new Resorts World as well, the Trump Towers to the right. So I'd say it's pretty center. A link right there as well. Let's head on in. I definitely want to be lounging on that. <laughs> now this is considered a high rise. We are in a penthouse suite. This is a three bedroom, three bath property. It is all one floor. But isn't it just beautiful? I just, I love this property. When I saw it earlier, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get in there. Just the decor and how they laid it out. It's just, you really feel like you are in a penthouse suite. I mean, even these pillars in the hallway, just so grand. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's head into the kitchen, which is to the right hand side. It is a pretty basic kitchen, nothing too fancy-smancy, but you have everything that you could need. 
even a chandelier. <laughs> Gotta keep that luxurious feel, right? Now everything does stay with this as well, all of the appliances, washer, dryer, refrigerator, your stove, your dishwasher, which is kind of fun if you look, the refrigerator is blended in. So you do have a pretty large fridge, but at least everything matches. And self-closing too, even better. So let me know in the comments, what do you think so far of the property? Do you like it as much as I do? Do you like the decor they used in here? What do you think? The property itself is pretty big. It is 2,800 square feet. So all for one floor, that's a pretty nice size penthouse. Now, when we come in the front door right here, we're greeted by another beautiful chandelier. But not only that, you have the separate hallway, so it splits into a fork. We just came uh, from the right-hand side, which is the kitchen, living room, and patio. But we're gonna go down this left-hand side now, and we'll get to the bedrooms, the bathrooms, some of the closets, all that good stuff. Now, this is the first closet for storage jackets, shoes, anything like that, since you're right off the entryway. Now to the left-hand side, this first room is your laundry room. And like I mentioned, the washer and dryer in this unit stay. I love having actual laundry, like countertop space and storage. It's so helpful. I don't currently have that right now. So let me know in the comments what you think, if you're somebody who has that or not. Now we're greeted by the first bathroom. It is a full bath. Every bathroom in here is a full bath, so it has not only the toilet, but the bath as well. A nice walk-in shower. You can kind of see the reflection of me, so try to ignore that. <laughs> the master bath has a bidet, which is pretty cool. This is just a normal toilet, which I should have put the toilet seat down in all honesty showing it to you guys. All right, so we are greeted again by another hallway, so we could go left or we could go right, but first we're just gonna come right in here. This is one of the bedrooms. They look like they're treating it as an office. They've got lots of storage space in here. And then this huge desk as well to the right-hand side. So the room is taken up by most of this stuff. You can see there is a closet in here, so you can consider it a bedroom. Even though those rules did change now, but prior to. <laughs> and then you do have a view in every room, which is nice. Whether it's the strip view or the mountain view, you do have one. And those are the other two Turnberry Towers, one to the right and one to the left. All right, let's head out of this room. This room does have carpet. Looks like we were uh, walking just on tile pretty much throughout, uh, except for in the bedrooms. Looks like the bedrooms all have carpet. So we're gonna head into the master bedroom now. This is to the right. This is one closet. Yeah, I did say one closet because <laughs> there's multiple. Lots of storage as well. You can put your shoes on this nice rack right here, which would be awesome. Keep them out of the way. All right. So now as we head down this hallway, we are in the master bedroom, this entire thing. So I'm going to do a quick turnaround so you can kind of see where we came from. That is the closet, this is the hallway, but you're still in the master bedroom. So if we went to the left-hand side, we'll come into the actual bedroom itself, which guys, I love in <laughs> this bedroom set. I mean, talk about how grand 
this is. I mean, I love it. I would feel like a freaking princess or like I was in Game of Thrones <laughs> if I came into this bed every single night. Let me know. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments how you're feeling on this, what you think so far, if you're like, oh my gosh, this is just way too much, or if you just love it as much as I do. It does obviously take a lot of the bedroom space, but I mean, in all honesty, what do you use your bedroom for <laughs> other than sleeping? If you are somebody who does activities in your room, hey, more power to you. Now this does have the view again as well. Actually looked like the previous room we were just in had a slider so we could actually go out back. There's double porches uh, on the front side and the back. I had to do it. <laughs> I had to get this slider open for us. That way we could check out this awesome view. I really love that they have both sides of the patio. That way you can really enjoy it. It's a really nice sized patio too. Lots of room. You have your slider one, slider two. So both, pretty much both rooms have access other than your third bedroom. Now we're going to go ahead and come to the right hand side. So instead of going left when we were walking down the hall, we'll go right. This is the second closet. Really good size too. Pretty much dual cabinet spaces and all the designer for your shoes. And then we'll head into the bathroom which feels really grand in itself too. I mean, look at this tub. <laughs> Talk about an awesome tub. Whew. And then you have a his and hers sink, but also pretty much whole setup. I mean, one side of the bathroom is for one, and then you have a completely other side of the bathroom for another. You have a little vanity area too, super cute. And then here is the shower. So you do have a bathtub, but you also have a shower, so you don't have to only use the bathtub. It's a nice size shower too. And then here are your toilets. <laughs> the day on one side and you have your uh, gentleman's toilet on the other. <laughs> All right, let's head on out and we'll go back down to the other rooms. So we're walking out of the master hallway now. Yeah, actually, look at this, guys. You can totally go out there. It does look like it's blocked pretty much by most stuff, but there's a slider here. So if you wanted to go off the back patio, you totally could. I love that it has dual sides. I mean, that's awesome what a great hangout because sometimes if you think on this right side the strip view whew, that's facing the sun most of the day the hottest time of day <laughs> so it might not be that great to hang out on but this back side's awesome so you do have a closet right here to the left hand side really good size closet too it does go back quite a ways and it's pretty tall now this door that we meet here at the end of the hallway is actually another set of ele elevators. So if you were to unlock and go out, there's another set, which is cool. Have it from the front and the back. All right, so now we're gonna head into our last bedroom. The closet is right here to the right hand side. It's a good size closet. It's not walk-in though. And then you have your bathroom, full bathroom to the left. They must like pineapples. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
pretty much an identical setup to the bathroom in the hallway. Now, when I saw this closet, you know what I thought? <laughs> Narnia! <laughs> Let me know if you thought the same thing. <laughs> Maybe it's the closet we can go to Narnia in. <laughs> but you do have a nice view again on this side as well. And this is a really good size room. Yeah, all the rooms are 12 by 12, so they're bigger than a standard size 10 by 10 room definitely feels a little bit smaller obviously because they do have you know such a bedroom set I mean not a typical bedroom set I mean these are pretty luxurious and very spacious so it does take quite a bit of the room space but in actuality like I said what do you really use your room for other than like clothes in your closet and sleeping so I really love it <laughs> I think it's really grand and it really goes with the penthouse style so I wanted to come show you guys one of the pool areas this is one of the main things that we can currently access still. There is a spa, fitness center, and all that good stuff, but I'm not currently able to get into it. So I wanted to show you guys at least the pool area. All of the cabanas are open as well to members, guests, owners. We are in midwinter, so obviously it's not being used, but it is a really nice space. So now that we've wrapped up our tour, let's talk a bit about this property in case you have any questions. And of course, feel free to drop them in the comments below if I don't cover anything either. So like I mentioned in the beginning of our tour, this is at the Turnberry Towers. Now, Turnberry Towers are a really high-end, high-rise uh, property here in Las Vegas. It is pretty much dead center on the strip right off of on Paradise Road right behind Las Vegas Boulevard and it's just a really awesome place for people who love to come to town and stay and be treated like they're in a hotel kind of feel but really they're not. They own the property. Turnberry has a ton of awesome amenities. Don't get me wrong, their HOA is a bit high. This property is $1,240 a month for the HOA, but it includes a ton of concierge and incentives, activities, everything that you could think. Amenities, pretty much like you're staying at a hotel, has it here at Turnberry. So, it is a pretty, again, high-end, high-rise kind of feel, but the property itself is really worth investing in if you're somebody who loves this area, as well as somebody who wants to be able to have people come to stay, and maybe you're not someone who comes and stays, you have your family come and stay. So let's, uh, we'll talk a little facts, wrap up the video, and see what you guys think. The property, like I mentioned, uh, it is three bed, three bath, three full bath too, not a half bath. Um, it is 2,800 square feet and it's currently listed for 1.1 million. So if you have questions, you wanna know anything about the property or take a private tour with me, please reach out. I always put my phone number and my email in the description. Otherwise you can reach out by comment too. Um, with this property, you do have um, the there's basically parking, um, private parking below ground for all of the owners, okay? And then I was able just to valet, you have valet parking too, and I was also able just to park out in the front parking lot area that they give per each tower. Um, there are three towers, and I believe it goes all the way up to 38 floors, and this property is on the 22nd floor. Uh, each floor has their own pretty much floor, so you're not sharing it with someone else, um, especially this or any higher. Um, and yeah, like I said, valet underground parking is a plus for sure, but all the amenities here are pretty much exactly like staying at a hotel or having a high-rise property. So if you have questions, you're interested in the property, reach out. Otherwise, make sure, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about the property in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss out on any future video tours. And I'll see you on another one.